Tomorrow, voters head to the polls for the New Hampshire primaries. Now, after the Iowa caucuses, only three candidates remained for the Republican presidential nominees. Florida Governor Rod DeSantis, former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley, and of course, former President Donald Trump. But yesterday, DeSantis, well, he announced, yep, he was just dropping out of the whole thing. If there was anything I could do to produce a favorable outcome, more campaign stops, more interviews, I would do it. But I can't ask our supporters to volunteer their time and donate their resources if we don't have a clear path to victory. Accordingly, I am today suspending my campaign. Now that leaves just two candidates left, Haley and Trump, both candidates working on gathering support for tomorrow's votes in New Hampshire. Now, while the latest polling shows Trump with a big advantage among Republicans in New Hampshire, independents known as undeclared, they are the biggest block in the state and they are allowed to participate in the Republican primary. So while Trump is maintaining a double digit lead, Haley is focused on turning out those people right there in the middle. This year, I am still completely undecided. This election's coming up on Tuesday and I, I still don't know who I'm gonna vote for. Well, let's take a look at how the New Hampshire primary works and what the impact is for the rest of the country with this primary. Anyone registered to vote in New Hampshire can cast a ballot. Voters can either cast for a Democratic or Republican nominee. The New Hampshire primary is important because it is the first in the country, and it's really kind of a test to see how candidates are polling. With all of this primary talk, though, you may be wondering, all right, just how different is this primary than the caucus that we just had? Well, let's verify. A primary is run by the state government, similar to a typical election with voters casting ballots in the mail or going to polling places. A caucus is run entirely by the state party, usually requiring voters to go in person to declare their preference at a local venue. Historically, caucuses could be hectic events with supporters giving speeches to persuade people to physically move into their candidate's corner. But in recent years, most of the few states that still have caucuses have adopted more traditional secret ballots. Now, when voters head to the polls tomorrow, they will not find President Joe Biden's name on the ballot. And that's because he's following the Democratic Party's decision to make South Carolina its first primary state. The DNC says New Hampshire's primary violates national party rules by being on the calendar just too early. In response to the president's decision to skip the New Hampshire primary, over 100 New Hampshire Democratic leaders are launching a campaign to encourage state Democrats to physically write in the president's name on primary day, which is allowed. Now we are less than two weeks from that South Carolina Democratic presidential primary. And even though the race seems like a shoe in for the incumbent, state officials still want voters to show up. The Democratic Party in the Palmetto State hopes South Carolina will lead the presidential primary calendar for years to come. Let's connect the dots. President Joe Biden is favored to easily win the Democratic nomination in the Palmetto State, but party leaders still want folks to turn out to the polls on February 3rd. The state newspaper reports the party is spending six figures and hiring 50 staffers for the initiative. Why? For the first time, South Carolina is set to be the first primary of the campaign season, giving it serious political power. The DNC chose the state because of its diverse community and volume of rural voters. To prove they can lead the primaries in 2028, state party leaders are hoping big turnout will show how engaged South Carolinians are in the process. And that is Connecting the Dots. All right, primaries in other states, always important. But when will you have the chance to vote on your preferred candidate? Here's a list of all the votes coming up in the U.S. The Granite State will be the next to cast votes in the first primaries of the election season on January 23rd, followed by South Carolina Democrats on February 3rd, then Nevada on February 6th and 8th, and then back to the Palmetto State on the 24th as the Republicans cast their votes. Michigan will head to primaries February 27th, Idaho and Missouri Republicans caucus March 2nd, followed by North Dakota on March 4th, and then a day later, the biggie. 14 states, including Texas, voting on Super Tuesday. That's also the date we'll hear the results of the Iowa Democratic Caucus. Well, former President Donald Trump still polling very well in spite of his court appearances. Trump was supposed to be in court today, but one of the jurors and an attorney were exposed to COVID. 
This is for Trump's defamation case in New York City. E. Jean Carroll says that Trump sexually assaulted her in a department store in the 1990s. She has sued Trump twice for defamation over statements that he made denying the assault, saying that he never met her. The judge says the court will reconvene tomorrow at 9.30. We're going to keep a close eye on the New Hampshire primary tomorrow. And of course, we'll be giving you all the information on WFMY News 2 and on our website, WFMYNews2.com.